Hello, I'm Marie Munink. I'm a professor at the Erasmus Medical Center, and I'm also the director of the Netherlands Institute for Health Sciences, the NIAS. I'd like to tell you something about our Master of Science programs in the health sciences and clinical research. Now more than ever, epidemiology and spy statistics are really important. Try understand the statistics of the pandemic. Try to understand what health policy measures are actually going to have an effect to mitigate the pandemic. All of these things are things that we look at and study in our courses. We study a lot more. We look at a quantitative approach to medical research. Also, clinical trials are an important aspect. Understanding how we can evaluate therapies, new therapies, vaccines or medication. We don't only look at infectious diseases, we also consider things like cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, stroke, dementia, all important topics considered in our programs. We're situated in Rotterdam in the Netherlands at the Erasmus University Medical Center, consisting of an academic hospital, wet and dry labs, and a beautiful educational center. We believe in active learning. We engage our students and we use cases to to study the materials. We have students from all over the globe as our professors and teaching staff, a very diverse and inclusive community. We have a research master in health sciences, either a two-year program or a one-year program, and a research master in clinical research, a two-year program. Let me tell you a little bit about these programs. So the one-year programs are really meant for students who have previously done a master in a biomedical area. And this is a full-time program, or it can be done as a part-time program, should you need that. About half of the program consists of coursework, and the other half is doing a research project under the guidance of a supervisor. The two-year programs are meant for those who have previously done a bachelor degree in a biomedical area. It's a full-time program consisting of 120 EC points. Both the four-year and the two-year program start with the Erasmus Summer Program in August. This is a three-week program with introductory courses. Then you go to the core curriculum courses for the duration of about half a year. At the same time, you choose a supervisor and a research project and start thinking about how to evaluate whatever you are looking at. Then follows half a year of elective courses and research if you're in the one year program and one and a half years of this if you're in the two year program. So should you choose health sciences or clinical research? Well, the clinical research program is really meant for medical doctors and medical students. People who want to do research in the clinical setting consisting of diagnosis, prognosis, therapy, the Health Sciences programs is a little broader and has several specializations that you can choose from. Epidemiology focuses on population studies and causal inference. Clinical epidemiology overlaps with clinical research and looks at diagnosis, prognosis, and therapy. Public health epidemiology would look at things like the pandemic. Health decision sciences looks at decisions that we make either in clinical practice or in the public health arena. Then there's genetic and molecular epidemiology, biostatistics, looks at the quantification of things, and medical psychology and health economic analysis. Throughout all of these specializations, a quantitative approach is really key. Our students love our program. It's inspiring and has contributed to their future career. Future career prospects are broad, ranging from academic centers, hospitals, World Health Organization, public health institutions, pharmaceutical industry. We'd really love to have you with us and look forward to meeting you.